Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module I want to show you how to package your presentation to a CD or a folder, which is more common nowadays, so that it can be viewed on different machines. So first of all, first of all I'm going to create a couple of slides. Waterloo, control enter to come down. 18th of June, 1815. Control enter to get myself a new slide. French forces. Control enter. Three bullets. Napoleon. Tab. Guards. Shift tab. Back to a main bullet. Ney. Cavalry. So these are just the bullets I'm creating. And the last one, Murat. Enter, tab, artillery, spelt wrong, got there before, the spell check, control enter, British forces, control enter, Wellington, tab, enter, tab, guards, enter, Shift tab, Picton, enter, tab, infantry, enter, shift tab, back, and Oaksbridge, tab, cav, oh, ring. So that's my slide. Control S to save it. Waterloo. I'll do, saved as Waterloo. Now I want to insert some objects. So if I go to insert objects, I'll insert an Excel file. So browse for this Excel file. It's in examples, Excel. And the file is called charting. That one and okay. So what will happen when I save to CD? It will it will save these links as well to the file. So when this drops in, eventually drops in, we should be able to change the tab if we want to. So that's just showing nothing to do with the um, with Waterloo, but it looks good. I'll just double click on that because you can. And it will open up Excel, and then I can change to the chart that I want, which is the first one, which is Waterloo casualties. And when I click away, it shows me Waterloo casualties. Probably can't make that much bigger than that. Now, the other way that I could have done that, is it stretches this, if you do it like this, is to, to use Paste Special which is what I will do actually. I'll open that and use paste special and paste link. Then I can just get the graph instead of the whole spreadsheet. So if I go into Excel, open Excel and then go for the file from Excel. I'll just bring the window across onto this screen. File open. Oh, there it is there. I'll go for that. So now what I do is I go and get the, the sheet that I want, which is the first sheet, that one, column chart. Click on that. Control C for copy. Come back into PowerPoint. And paste special it there. So I'm going back to home. Paste special. Link. OK. And then that gives me the graph. And I can change the layout to get this to be just a, a blank slide, so I have that there. So that's that one. And then what I want to do, one more thing, is insert a video. So insert video from this device. And I'll just pick one of these. That'll do. So that's only a five second video, so quite a small video.
Now I want to save this so I can take it to another machine. Even a machine that hasn't got PowerPoint. If you do this, it will still show. They won't be able to edit it, but they'll still be able to present on most machines, even without PowerPoint. So I'll just do a save. Come back up. In fact, before I do that, let's just do a design on it. Um, something nice. That's not nice. Go for the black. Now, when you go for the black, it's um, just putting a little blob on there, but I don't, I don't like that. So let's go for this. That's quite cool. Yep. Don't need it on the rest of them. So that's the design ideas that's popped up there on mine. So I, I could have a look at the ideas and then go for one of them. Yeah, I like the top ones. That's the better one. So I'll save this. So it's already saved as Waterloo. Now I want to package it for CD. So you go to the export tab, package presentation for CD, pick that option so that other people can watch the presentation on most computers. Notice it doesn't say all computers. This package includes linked or embedded items such as videos, sounds and fonts. So in my case it's an Excel spreadsheet and any other files added to the package. So I click on that. It asks you for a name. So I'll just call it Steve. Files to be copied are this. Now you've got copy to folder, copy to CD. Well, I haven't got a CD, so I'm going to copy to folder. Folder name Steve, and I want to put it on the desktop so that I can get it and delete it afterwards. So then this will open the folder when it's complete. Now, text sometimes it can take a little while. It says there, look. Copy a linked files to your computer. This should include a link files in your package. Only if you trust the source. Yep, I do want to continue. So now it'll start doing that, and it, like I said, it could take a, a little while, depending on how many linked files you've got and how big they are to copy. So you can see it's now created the folder and opened it. So if we go back to one desktop. There's Steve, it's what I called it. If I open it, I've got the charting file that's there, and then the, the um, Waterloo presentation, which you have to run from there. And you've got the presentation package there, which has got some other stuff in it. Now, if I close this file down, just close that, close this file. I will save it and then open it from here that's where you have to open it do on there so you get I'm getting this window update links been any changes and then it should open up the uh, PowerPoint so then it lets me open so it's updated links and then it lets me open it there's the charting file. There's the video. There we go. So basically that's how you package things for CD. And I've been stung many, many times when I've had videos and embedded files in the PowerPoint and I've just gone save as. File save as. Put it on a stick. And then when I got to the, the source computer, the nothing's there except a picture, a photograph, because this just becomes a picture and so does that. No data. So you have to package for CD if you're going to move from one machine to another, not just save as. So hopefully that was of use for you, and I thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.